Hey guys, <laughs> the sun is so bright, like I can barely see. So hello, today's September 5th. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a huge Camila Cabello fan. I love her so much. Two songs of hers just came out, Liar and Shameless. I have Shameless on repeat. Both are amazing. Something about Shameless is just incredible. Her music video, like, who are you? You are so hot. Blah. But yeah, right now, clearly, we are outside getting some sun. I would show you Twinkie, but she's currently going number two. It's so, like, creepy when I'm, like, sitting down here and, like, cars, like, go super slow. And I'm like, what are you looking at? Oh. Twinkie store. Say hello, baby girl. Let me zoom into her. It is so bright out here, you guys. Look at that baby. The best baby in the world. This thing zooms in like crazy. Twinkie, why are you so perfect? Why? I don't understand. Uh, that was a cool zoom, y'all, I must admit. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do a little eat with me segment because there are some things I want to talk about. Hopefully, I won't forget. But salad, this is the Asian one. So, first things first, I want to thank everyone for the dog food recommendations. And I found out something new dogs are not supposed to have grain free food. So, I appreciate everyone who told me that. I had no idea, like, I'm not a dog food expert. So I appreciate that very much. Um, next thing I want to talk about, oranges is new black. I don't want to give anything away because I feel like there are people out there who haven't watched the last season, but to the people who have, don't worry, no spoilers, to the people who have, did you cry as much as I did? It was so emotional for me. Like, not only because it was the last season, but just, like, everything that happened in it. Wow. I was watching it last night. Y'all. I was crying to the point of, like, gagging for breath like I couldn't breathe it was like one of those like ugly cries <sighs> but now I'm done with it I'm sad about it I could totally cry again right now thinking about it not being extra okay next thing is a little more serious topic I've got a lot of questions of why do you eat on camera why do you keep eating on camera? Does it trigger you? Etc. Etc. A lot of people think it would. It does the opposite, actually. When I eat on camera, like when I film Eat With Me's or like mukbangs when the whole video is dedicated to that, I am more aware of the food I'm eating because I'm eating it in front of a camera. When I eat it by myself, I eat faster. I'm usually like watching a movie or something or watching TV or YouTube so I don't focus so much on my food. But when I'm filming a mukbang or like an eat with me, when I eat on camera, like I focus more on it and I absorb it more and I feel like it helps me also eat less. So I know a lot of people like have been curious about that, but yeah, that's what like works for me. So, especially like when I'm trying to eat less, I'm trying to eat healthier. Obviously there has been times where I strictly ate something just for a mood bomb, but nine times out of 10, it was just a meal that I was already gonna eat. And if anything, mood bongs, eat with me's, or little segments like this in my vlogs help me eat less it's so crazy it's so weird but like it works for me so I just want to like say thank you guys
I feel like maybe people who suffer with like a food addiction or an eating disorder can maybe understand that. Um, I feel like people who fill mukbangs, they eat more than they normally would than obviously in a regular meal. For me, I eat less usually in a mukbang than I do normally because no one's watching me eat, but you guys are watching me eat. So I eat less and I'm more in tune with what I'm eating. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna continue eating my food. I'm gonna try to be in tune with it. I don't wanna do like a whole mukbang. Okay, you guys, I have a recommendation and this is only for people who like comic books. Well, even if you don't like comic books, okay. So this is the first deluxe book in the saga series. There's three of these. So this is the first one, this is book one. This is about two people. This is like a crazy alternate like universe. Like, so I'm just gonna go like this. I can show you guys what it looks like. I usually don't like stuff like this, you guys, but I've already read the first two. It is freaking good. Becky's reading it now. She is about that far, but it's about these two people who um they fall in love and one's a fairy and one has like horns it's like this whole thing it's kind of like the best way to describe it is like a romeo juliet situation because both of their like sides of the family or whatever um they hate each other they hate the other species but then they end up having a kid so you have all these people trying to like find them and kill them and there's all kinds of like creatures in there oh my god it's crazy it's so good though 100% recommend it. Even to people who don't like comic books, comic books, please give it a try. It's so good. And if you've already read it, I don't blame you. All right, you guys, it's comment of the day. And I do apologize for today's vlog. Honestly, today has been like a personal hard day for me. Um, so it's been, it's been rough and, you know, I'm just pushing forward and I'm still going to do a comment of the day. So we have over 3,600 comments. So I'm gonna let them load and then I'll be back. Okay, so this was my Torrid haul, which <clears throat> I feel like there's gonna be a lot of bad comments and I really hope I don't get one today because I feel rather sensitive because like I said, it's been kind of a sad day, but I feel like it's gonna be rude. Let's see. Ruth Evelyn said, if you're dreading doing a try on haul, then just don't do them. Nobody asked for it anyways. That's not true, actually. I get a lot of people asking me to do the try on hauls. People, and like there are people who enjoy the, oh my God, hold on, this is not focusing. There are people who actually do enjoy the hauls and do enjoy the try on hauls. I actually wasn't going to film one at all, but on my Instagram DMs, I did get quite a few people saying, I need a Torrid try on haul. Um, and people do like them. They click on them and they watch them. I mean, whether it's hate or whether it's for a good reason or whatever. Um, the only reason why I was dreading it is because it was super hot. I was just like really hot because I just got done cleaning a little bit beforehand and I was kind of just like, uh, uh, uh. so I was dreading just trying on, especially because there was like a lot of sweaters and stuff. That's why I was dreading it, but that's okay. I'm glad I filmed it. And I mean, it seems like a lot of people enjoyed it. So I do appreciate that. So I am gonna end my vlog. <laughs> Sorry, today just has not been my day. I'm hoping for a better vlog tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.